All right, vacation season is almost here. I'm sure a lot of you are still making plans and booking those trips. But here's something to keep in mind. If you're traveling by air, well, climate change could play a role in those plans. Meteorologist Mary Marshall explains what this means for your flights and your wallet. And the, the winds were so bad that they had to reroute the plane. Last plane of the day, which I rarely do, and it was canceled because of the weather. I thought that I wasn't going to go home. Like the rain, the stories of travel plans hitting a speed bump just keep pouring in. The Federal Aviation Administration says weather is the main source of airline delays. In 2022, weather caused more than 4,000 delays at Reagan National, accounting for more than 254,000 minutes in delay. That's more than Dallas and BWI combined. And as the planet warms and the climate changes, experts say there will be more inconveniences, longer flights, more delays, cancellations, or you getting bumped from the plane. Let's start with getting in the air. To do that, planes need lift. When it's too warm, it's harder for planes to take off because the air is not as dense, meaning there aren't as many molecules around the wing to generate the lift. To overcome that, airplanes need more speed and a long runway to pick up that speed. For airports like Reagan National, also known as DCA, it's a challenge. DCA, National Airport's longest runway is only about 7,100 feet. That sounds like a lot, but both Dulles and BWI have runways that are 10,500 feet long. So to take off, the plane has to go on a diet and lose weight. This is where weight restrictions come in, when planes have to ditch fuel, luggage, or passengers to get light enough for takeoff. A Columbia University study found that when temperatures reach about 87 degrees at Reagan National, some planes need to shed 10,000 pounds. Researchers say weight restrictions happen about 50 days a year, and that number may go up. Usually they, they do um, luggage, fuel, and passengers in that order. Uh, to try to minimize the inconvenience to people. Let's say you make it on the plane and it takes off. Climate change may also impact how much time it takes to get to your destination because of the jet stream. This river of fast moving air is high in the sky and can help to push planes along faster. So if you go to Europe, it's an hour or two uh, uh, faster to get to Frankfurt, Germany, than it is to come home. And that's because you can catch the jet stream flying to Europe and avoid the jet stream coming back. But with climate change, the jet stream is going to change intensity and position. It might move further north, might make it harder to find. So that could make the trip slower, and that means more expensive. There may be a way to soften the landing a bit. Experts say we could adapt with longer runways or reconfigure planes. Booking an early morning flight might save you some hassle. Storms can strike at any time, but most happen in the afternoon and evening. The travelers we talk with say they plan to fasten their seatbelts and pack their patience. I think it's the flight delays due to weather are all right if there's an airport with enough like charging stations. But I think over the years we've just learned to say it's part of the travel experience.